Welcome to the garage, everybody. Today, we are going to go ahead and change the tube on the rear tire of Freedom, aka BMW F650 GS. If you've been watching the series, you know that I changed the front tube because it was leaking. I got to thinking about this whole thing and I figured I better change the rear tube because it's probably just as old as the front tube. I don't want to get stuck somewhere because I have a tube with a slow leak in it. So to be safe, I ordered the tube and we're going to go ahead and just change it up. So let me show you how to do that. Step one, remove cover to valve stem. Step two, remove the valve stem core with valve stem tool. Be careful when you remove the valve stem core. You don't want to shoot it out and possibly injuring you or yourself or somebody nearby. Not that I think that would happen, but you never know. All right, third step, remove the nut on the valve stem. Fourth step, to make sure this tire does not get out of balance when I break the bead, I'm going to go ahead and mock this so when I put it back together, it'll be, you know, right on there. All right, so she's marked. Oh, if you got a uh, window marker, you can use that. The only thing with those window markers is they do come off with water. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? Two black magic marker in there. So either way, I shouldn't lose the mark on that. All right, now we have to break this bead. And this is one of the reasons, if you watch my video, I am not crazy about spoke rims. It's because if you gotta break this down in the field, you're gonna have a hell of a time breaking a tire off of this thing. We're gonna take our tire iron, see if we can get it underneath this here, and see if we can break this bead. And there we go. So that bead is now broken. Now we're just gonna go around the whole tire and get it off the rim. Or unseat it, I should say. All right, that's one side. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Break the bead on that. Next step, I don't know what step we're on, but I'm going to go ahead and put some soapy water along this bead. Imagine doing this out in the field. Good God. It's a freaking nightmare. So I am replacing this too. So I am not worried about damaging the tube. Wow. This is a tough tire, man. If you're worried about the damage in the rim, I'd recommend put a rag in between the uh, tire iron. I'm not worried about it. All right. So once you get to this point, all you gotta do is take off one side. You're gonna lift this tire out and work that tube out of there. I like to start with the valve area and just pull it right out of there. And there you go. 
looking at this one, I don't know if you can all see it. It doesn't look healthy. It is rusting up pretty good over here. So I'm glad I'm changing it. I'm not totally trusting this tube. That's what the other one looked like, I think. And it was leaking. All right, you're probably wondering what am I doing here? I'm using some baby powder. And what I do is I cover the tube with baby powder. And that acts as a dry lubricant for the tube. Make sure it's good and covered. Don't take a whole lot. Remove your valve stem from your valve core. And now we're gonna go ahead and attempt to put this into the tire. All right, this is a tricky part, trying to get this in here. All right, I'm gonna start with the valve first. Come on. Once you get it started, get that nut on there right away. And we're going to put the rest of this tube in. Don't forget to put the tire where it belongs. Before you mount it. All right, so she's lined up with the valve stem. Now, be careful with the tools so you don't pinch that tube. Now, to make this slippery, because it's getting really tight here, I'll put some more liquid on there. Okay, once you get the tire in, go ahead and just put the car back in. Oh, that was a workout. Okay, so once the tire's on the rim, you're going to go ahead and put some air in it and get it to seat properly. Yes, the rim is black. You're not seeing things. You'll find out why the rim is black <laughs> in uh, future videos. We won't get into that right now. All right, let's put some air in this bad boy. Watch your fingers around this bead. You don't want to get your fingers caught in there, man. Yeah, it looks like she's good on this side. Let's check the other side. She looks good. I'm going to bring this tire up to 40 PSI. All right, she's on 40 right now. That is not the proper pressure for this tire at this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit overnight right here on the bench. I'm going to check it in the morning. If she's still at 40, I know I'm good to go with this tube and there's no leaks. I don't want to put this on the bike and find out later that there's an issue with that tube or whatnot. So that's all there is for doing a tube on the rear tire for the BMW F650GS. It was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the front tire was actually easier. This tire was a pain in the buttocks to do here in my garage. I can't imagine trying to fix a flat out in the field in the middle of nowhere. At the very minimum, you're gonna need three tire irons to do this rear tire. In the future, I'm gonna look at maybe, possibly making these rims into tubeless rims. I've known guys on YouTube or other bikers who have done it. I think they've had success with it. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing. Uh, don't want to deal with tools if I don't have to. But that's for a future uh, video. When I do tires, I'll decide then what I'm going to do. All right, you all take care. God bless. And I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Till next time.